What's going on, everyone? It's October Horror Fest, and on this episode of On the Set, I'm dissecting Alien Covenant, the sequel to Prometheus. Let's get into it. The film starts off with Peter Whalen, the CEO of the Whalen Corporation, and his android David. David asks him who created the humans, and he says he hopes to find out one day. Then we jump to 2104, 11 years after the events of Prometheus. A ship called the Covenant is seven years away from its destination a planet called Oragai 6. The ship is housing 2,000 humans in stasis, as the hope is to colonize the new planet. Suddenly, the ship gets damaged by an exploding star, and the crew is woken by Walter, another android who resembles David. Somehow, the captain stasis pod malfunctions, burning him alive, and a new crew member takes over, Dr. Manhattan. After that, they receive a transmission of what seems to be a human voice from a nearby planet that appears even more habitable than the one they're going to. So the ship heads to the nearby planet. After taking a smaller ship to the surface, the crew goes to check things out, led by Maggie, the pilot's wife. They track the transmission to a crashed alien ship, which is always a good sign, right? As they're traversing through a jungle, a couple of the crew members are infected by floating black goop. No, it's not symbiote. They get taken back to the ship and are quarantined, and just then, an alien bursts through the back of one of them and attacks the crew, ending with most of them dying. A second alien bursts out of the other crew member, so now there's only two left. The remaining crew kill one of the aliens, which are referred to as Neomorphs, and then, out of nowhere, David, the android from the beginning, shows up and scares away the other one. The crew then follow David to a temple where he explains that following the events of the last movie, Elizabeth and he landed there in their escape pod. However, Elizabeth died in the ship's crash. The planet is actually the home world of the engineers, whom David killed by releasing the black goop all over the place. Like he pretty much wiped out their entire race. It was pretty savage. Anyway, the surviving Neomorph shows back up and kills more crew members before being killed off by Dr. Manhattan. I, I mean, the new captain. David confesses that the aliens were created by him in the last movie due to him messing around with that black goop. Then, the captain is subdued by a facehugger, which I guess is the very first one. And then the classic alien we all know and love burst from his chest, the protomore. Walter comes across the corpse of Elizabeth, which David has been using for experiments, and he engages in a fight with David. leaving time for Daniels, one of the leaders of the crew, and the others to escape. But it's never that easy. The protomorph returns, fully grown, and attacks them. But it gets put down. Then they make it back to the Covenant, leaving David behind. The next day, Daniels realizes another protomorph is loose on the ship somewhere. However, they soon find it and send it through the airlock into space. After that, they resume their original mission of heading to Orgai 6. As Walter puts Daniels, who is now the captain, into stasis, she realizes that Walter is actually David. Ha <laughs> ha! Gotcha, bitch! Then, he places two facehugger embryos in storage in preparation to release them on Oragai 6. The end. Well, I can truly say that David is a bastard. It sucks that Elizabeth died, but this new crew didn't really even stand a chance either. They all got wiped out except for Daniels. And who knows what happens to her. I mean, the next movie in the lineup is the original Alien, and I don't think she's in that one. So it's not looking good for her. Alright guys, well join me next time for the next film in the series. And I'll see you then.